Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Smith again, and we are going to talk about how to create your rainbow on Seesaw. So, to get to Seesaw, you go from the uh, Heritage website, you go to Class Link here, you click on Class Link, and then it'll take you to Seesaw, and you click Seesaw, and it'll take you to your Seesaw. When you get to Seesaw, you'll click your name, and you'll scroll until you find your class. You see Miss Smith's classes here, but depending on what class you're in, you will click your class. I've noticed that you have to scroll through all of your classes to, towards the bottom to find yours. But I found it easy for you to find your class by the art palette and the baby jaguar if you're in Heritage. And if you go to Galette Elementary, you will see the eagle. Okay, so that's how you find your art class. But for this lesson, we're gonna use my demonstration class, okay? To get to your color wheel worksheet, you click on activities here, you will see, make sure you're in your proper class. If you're not in your, if you don't see the art palette, you're not in the right class. So make sure you're in art class, click on activities, and then you're gonna scroll until you see your worksheet for the color wheel rainbow and you're going to click Add Response. You'll click your name, and then the worksheet opens up and you have all these wonderful tools here to decorate your rainbow. First thing you're gonna notice is, is the rainbow, and the rainbow has numbers. Number one, you see, is red, and you have a color wheel here, and number one is red. Number two is orange. So this teaches you the order of the color wheel, which, which is, should not be a surprise, which is the same order as the rainbow. Okay, boys and girls? So in order to color, let's just do red, okay? Because I can't do all the colors today. It would take too much time. But if I teach you how to do red, you'll know how to do all the other ones as well. So it's kind of small. So what you'll do is you can click this magnifying glass and then you could click the plus sign and it will make your make it larger. Then if we're gonna do red, we're gonna choose, you can choose a marker or a highlighter. Um, the marker I like because the, the red is really bright. You come to your rainbow bar, you, you click and hold and then you slide it until you find the red that you like. I like that red right there. So I'm going to color. Now the, the marker will cover up the black outline. If you choose to use the highlighter, you change color. You click it again, you change sizes. But when you change colors, you have to come back to the slider and find, find the red again. But the highlighter's red is not as bright. So it's up to you if you want to use the highlighter or the marker. And then of course you have the pencil, but the pencil really won't work well for coloring. So, but I will show you anyway what the pencil does. That would just look like this, okay? So have fun. Number one is red, number two is orange, three is yellow. And some students have been like with red, they'll circle it or, or X through it. Now, if I don't like that, look up here, follow my, my pointer, and you could click the back arrow. The back arrow will take away any mistake, or if you changed your mind about something, click that back arrow. Also, there's something fun you can do. You can click on these three dots here. You could click background and you can get some background choices. So let's have some fun and click that one. Click away and then you just notice that and you can click the minus sign and make it small again. You'll see that you have a background here. Another thing you could do is click there again and you have shapes. And then you could click on these shapes and you can decorate your paper after you finish it. If you're, And you can move your shape around things like that. But what I want to see is your rainbow and your color wheel. So if you have any questions, just send me a, a message on Seesaw. Let me show you. Oh, first, I forgot. When you finish your lesson, 
you click this green check here. I forgot something very important. Click the green check and it goes to your virtual sketchbook. And like I said, if you have a message for me, you could click the inbox and you can type a message. All right. So that's how you get in touch with me. You can also get in touch with me on Class Dojo or in Teams. All right, kids. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time playing around on this uh, color wheel worksheet. And I look forward to seeing your creativity. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.